Hello there to all of you humans, crocodiles, aliens and computer viruses watching today. So you've all been asking for a guide on how to level up fast on Dragon Soul, so here we are. Before we begin today's video, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, as well as turn on all notifications, so that you don't miss out on any of my content in the future. We're nearly at 10,000 subscribers, so I would greatly appreciate your support. Anyway, let's get into the video. So straight off, my very first recommendation is to, when making your character, use the number 2 Vegito fighting style. Vegito is definitely the best free fighting style in the game, in my opinion. This is because Vegito's left mouse combo has the most damage output of all the free fighting styles. So now that we're spawned in, we can move on to gameplay. So if you were playing before the mobile port released, you might have played when certain quests were better than others. This is no longer the case, as quests were rebalanced, and notable XP quests such as the Villager and Elite Saiyan quests were nerfed. So for this reason, I just do quests as they're given to you, as there are no longer any clearly better quests. So my next recommendation is to use the following two codes in the menu. These codes are Dragon Soul, which will give you plus 30% XP gain for 3 hours, and 100 clikes, which will give you a plus 50% XP gain for 15 minutes. To use these codes, go onto the menu, and click on the codes button near the bottom right corner of the screen. You can use these codes whenever you want, but I personally use the Dragon Soul code at about level 100, if that helps you decide when to use the codes. So next, we can go over statistic builds. There are two commonly used builds for grinding levels, and we'll go over them both. The first build is to just throw everything into your strength stat. This build is otherwise called the Berserker type. Would be my personal pick, especially with the Vegito fighting style, as it is quick and efficient at dealing with individual enemies. However, there is another option if key attacks are more your thing. You can also put everything into key power, which is called the glass cannon type. This basically makes your key attacks as strong as possible, so that you can take out perhaps multiple enemies at once from a safe distance. There is no right or wrong pick here in my opinion, it's really just a matter of if you prefer to fight up close or from a distance as they're both good builds. And the final piece of advice I can give you is, if you have Robux, you can buy temporary XP boosters, that give plus 50% XP gains for up to 24 hours. If you know any helpful methods, be sure to post them down in the comments so that everyone can be helped out by your advice. Because quests were nerfed, it seems to really have just been narrowed down to using codes, stat builds, boosters and grinding quests as they come to you, working through the game's storyline as you do so. I will also put other resourceful videos down in the comments, such as a video showcasing all the move vendor locations, so that you know where to get each vendor sold move in the game, and so on. But yeah, thank you so much as always for watching. If you found the video helpful and want to see more content like this, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also turn on all notifications, so that I know you found the video to be of assistance. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Sayonara, humans.